वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड सी प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर एब्सल्यूट बिगनर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन सेट अप विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड फॉर राइटिंग एंड एग्जीक्यूटिंग द सी सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्राम्स बिफोर फॉलोइंग दीज स्टेप्स यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल मिंजी डब्ल्यू फॉर विंडोज विच इज अ सी सी प्लस प्लस टूल सेट एंड डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड which is an efficient integrated development environment from microsoft i have made two separate videos explaining how we can install these two programs i will put the videos link in the description box of this video for your reference so if you don't have installed these two programs go through these two videos and install these two programs before proceeding so now let's set up the visual studio code for writing and executing the c c++ programs open the visual studio code it will shows you the welcome screen on the left hand side you can see a bunch of uh, icons like explorer search source control run and debug and extensions click on it here you can see a lot of uh, visual studio extensions visual studio code extensions let you add programming languages debuggers and tools to your installation to support your development workflow we can search a long list of these extension from this search box for this video we will install a couple of extensions first we install the c c++ extension developed by the microsoft in order to search it just type c c++ as you can see the first extension shown is the c c++ extension from the microsoft so this c c++ for visual studio code extension adds language support for c c++ to visual studio code including features such as intellisense and debugging in order to install it hit install so you can see this extension is being downloaded so this extension has been downloaded and installed and also this message is displayed that this extension is enabled globally the next extension that we will install is the code runner extension so type this in the search box code runner yes this code runner extension runs the code snippet or code file for multiple languages uh, including c c++ so hit the install button and uh, this extension has been installed and is enabled globally in order to use these two extensions we need to restart the visual studio code for that let's close it again start it by double clicking on the shortcut both the extensions have been installed successfully now we will set up workspace for visual studio code for that first go to the file and click on add folder to workspace we can add any folder from everywhere in the file system let's create a folder at the desktop let me call this folder computer programming
select this folder hit add yes so in the explorer you can see folder computer programming has been added but still we have to save the workspace for that go to the file and click on save workspace as we can save the workspace in the same folder or anywhere you like let me name it lab underscore zero click save and workspace has been saved and its name is also being displayed on the title bar now we can add a file in the computer programming folder for that select the folder and click on new file type the file name let me call it first underscore file dot c dot c is the file extension for the c language programming file hit enter a new file first underscore file dot c has been created and is open in the editor For demonstration purpose, I have written a simple program that will print hello world on screen. If this program doesn't make any sense to you, don't worry, we will look into it in our upcoming videos. We can execute this program by clicking on run code icon or just right click and select run code. You can see the hello world is being printed out in the output tab. There is a problem with this output tab as it can only display the output of a program, but it cannot provide the user input to the program that is commonly required in many C language programs. Now let's consider this program. This program takes the name of the user as an input and on the screen displays the name with the greetings so if you run this program by clicking on run code you will see the output window is unable to take the input so we need to stop the program therefore we need to perform some settings in order to enable the visual studio code to take inputs so go to the file on in the preferences select the settings in the settings, uh, we need to go to the extensions and in the extension, you can select run code configuration. In the run code configuration, scroll down a little bit and you will notice there is a setting run in terminal. So check this box. On file, save, save the setting and uh, so now if we run the program you will notice the program is running in the terminal and the program is asking you to enter your name let me enter my name shujat and hit enter the program displays hello shujat in this way we can provide input and take output from the program by displaying the program's output in the terminal tab so that's all for this video in this video we saw how we can configure the visual studio code for writing and executing the c c program for that we installed two visual studio code extensions we also saw how we can set up the visual studio code workspace and how we can create folder and files and run the code effectively in the terminal tab Hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.